हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई विल बी टॉकिंग टू यू अबाउट डज माय चाइल्ड रिक्वायर अ स्क्विंट करेक्शन नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्क्विंट इज अ मिस अलाइनमेंट ऑफ द आईज वेयर वन आई इज आइदर आउटसाइड और इनसाइड और अप और डाउन व्हिच मींस बोथ द आईज आर नॉट अलाइंड टुगेदर आई एम डॉक्टर आलोका हेडाउ I'm a pediatric ophthalmologist and a squint surgeon at Dr. Aluka's Eye Care and I'm going to teach you why your child's eye with squint needs to be evaluated. Now first of all, squint or misalignment of the eyes causing causes binocular vision defects. Now our eyes are designed by nature to work together in sync and for better depth perception and better three-dimensional vision. Now this is nature's design and human eyes need more depth perception for higher spatial orientation and a better depth of vision. When one of the eye is misaligned that eye tends to be suppressed by the brain and this is known as lazy eye. There are certain squints which are an outfall of a major eye problem. Many a times patients come to me with squinting but on examination I found out that that eye is working lesser it has a glass number or it has some other eye problems like corneal opacities or cataracts or retinal degenerations or dystrophies even early squinting can start in certain eye cancers like retinoblastoma and therefore squint may be just an a sign of something serious going on inside your eye so when should you get your eyes tested now if the child is squinting beyond 2 to 3 months of age please bring the child to a pediatric ophthalmologist now many people believe and even some doctors believe that squinting is normal in childhood but it is not like i just explained it can be a sign of something even more serious going on inside the eye so in the first 2 to 3 months the visual alignment does not happen in children therefore sometimes you might feel that the eye is squinting but beyond 2 to 3 months if the squint persists and you feel the child is not able to align the eyes together that is when you should bring the child for evaluation and assessment now how do we treat squints many a times the primary treatment of the eye disease is done first to help treat the squint so if a child has an eye sight we give glasses we give patching exercises to improve the lazy eye we give vision therapy to certain children where the fusion or the alignment with the brain has to be brought back but there are many squints especially infantile squints which do not uh, require any of the non surgical treatment and that treatment for that squint is directly surgical so if your doctor sees you and advises surgery for the child it does not mean that the non surgical method is not right it means that that type of squint does not have a non surgical treatment and has to be directly dealt with a surgery now what do we do in a squint surgery now this is an eyeball and if you can see the red parts here these are all the muscles which surround the eyeball now to understand each eye has six extra ocular muscles which are outside the eyeball just below the conjunctiva during the correction of the squint the fusion center as described does not work now we do not have a treatment to strengthen the fusion center directly but we redirect the muscles in such a way that the brain starts fusing the eyes in a better manner so for example if the child has an outer deviation of squint the outer muscle is pulling the eye outside so what we do is we weaken this muscle and we strengthen the opposite muscle to bring the balance back many a times you may require only weakening procedure or only strengthening procedure depending on the type of the squint many a times you will see that you your child is squinting only one eye but squint being a binocular problem and a problem of 
working in sync we might require to do binocular surgery which is both eyes together either weakening or strengthening procedures together this is to make sure the eye starts fusing in a better manner and works in sync in all directions so most of the time understand that squint is a binocular disease and has to be dealt with with binocular surgery how is the surgery done now in children we need to give general anesthesia and in adults we give local anesthesia or injections near the eye or put drops of jelly on the eye now in general anesthesia squint procedures are usually done under lighter plane of anesthesia which means that many a times these children are on self respiration they are not put on a ventilator they self respire throughout the procedure and this is a safe method of anesthesia now the eye has a layer which is called conjunctiva it's like an onion peel outside the onion the onion skin so that layer a small 2 to 3 mm incision is taken and then the muscle is hooked and uh, the procedure is done on the muscle now many a times patients ask me is this a laser surgery patients this is not a laser surgery all over the world muscle surgery is never done as a laser procedure because the lasers which we are using they can burn the muscle tissue up and they have been found to be not successful in doing a proper safe squint surgery but yes this is a minimal invasive surgery so you don't have big cuts big stitches uh, at all and therefore in these cases there are no signs or blemish marks seen anywhere telling you whether a procedure is done on the eyes so 1 to 2 months is the normal healing period and after that you will not see any scars over the eyes what happens post procedure now post surgery eye drops and some syrups or tablets will be given to the patient this is usually given for a period of 1 month and uh, routine hygiene eye hygiene care tips have to be uh, followed that means uh, avoid dust falling into the eye uh, don't go uh, into uh, swimming pools or dusty areas directly so for school going children 2 to 3 days of leave is enough in simple eye surgery but if it is a complex quint procedure then sometimes one week to 10 days of school off is uh, recommended for office goers again the same thing simple surgery is 2 to 3 days of uh, of work or maximum a week of of work would be enough there is redness around the eyes which lasts for a period of say 2 to 3 weeks and this recovers slowly with putting eye drops and self healing having nutritious diet post surgery is important uh, for adults avoid smoking drinking uh, so that you have less toxins and good recovery from the procedure the procedure is painless post operative also it is almost pain free uh, for kids they will not feel anything inside the eye and most of the kids are able to tolerate this procedure very well by mistake if a child rubs the eyes or hits the eyes especially in special needs children uh, also we don't have any problems with the squint procedure now what are the complications squint procedure is like i described an extra ocular procedure and so it's kind of very safe uh, there are no major ocular complications which we usually see on a day to day basis the problem of under correction that is uh, under corrected squint or over correction is there but it is more likely in children where the fusion center is poor or where uh, the squint is a complex uh, type of squint with unpredictable results and many a times uh, these uh, can also be recovered with prism glasses or exercises post procedure now so for a post operative care many a times the child's own glasses we ask them to continue that glass so that the child starts seeing better and fusing better and we ask uh, children to avoid screen time for adults of course because of work you might have to use a screens but it's better to avoid excessive screen time and screens very close to the face at least one month post procedure 
so these are all the things that we can uh, tell about squint surgery so please get your children evaluated soon to avoid any complications related to squint thank you